Hi up, it's Mike the Reluctant Gardener with a quick update for you on what's been going on. Look at this beggar. Let's hope he doesn't make his way over into the garden. There's plenty enough of this wild stuff I've left growing for him to snack on, so stay away from the good stuff, eh? Oh, he's off. So here's where we're at. We've got the pie plates. They're doing a fantastic job keeping everything away from here. The deer don't like them, the ground dogs don't like them, the rabbits don't like them. So the garden is doing all right. Didn't even know I'd got rabbits, but I just almost ran one over driving back in to the house. So there's some news for me. Okay, so over here we've got thistle, and we've got Queen Anne's lace, and we've got clover, and we basically need to get the mower back out. I've got new blades in it now, it should cut a bit better, but as you can see, we've got to do a bit of work there. But what I want to show you is how much we've had grow in the last week. So the corn is shooting right up, the beans are coming up, the tomatoes are doing great, the potatoes, the peas, they've been eaten three times, but look at them, they're starting to bounce right back. Potatoes, fantastic. Broad beans, looks like I'm going to have a good crop there, they're starting to set, some of them flowering. So things are looking great there. Uh, got to plant some rows here. Here's some Katrina stuff, here's the second round of peas which again got chewed down to the ground but they're bouncing right back as well. The barley is doing great, there are leeks sort of creeping up in between, they're real spindly but I put a bunch of urea down on the ground a couple of days ago. That's been uh, dissolved in and been quite a bit of improvement as a result of that. Uh, the cabbage is coming through, the, the onions need uh, the tops chopping again, try and fatten the bulbs up. Uh, urea, £4 for $11 or £50 for $16, so I bought like three years worth. So, we'll see what happens there. Potatoes, edamame is looking great, the bush beans, again don't ask me why there's a hole in the row back there, no idea. Salad greens are about ready for picking. Uh, these are the, the daikon, the Japanese horseradish, the winter radish, whatever you want to call them. They are looking real good. Uh, parsnips, I've got a couple of them at least, but oh well. Okay, there's a good one to look at right there, as you can see, nice and thick. They're swelling up nice. They're basically a sacrificial fertilizer crop. They are supposed to do wondrous things to the soil if you plant them and let them rot in the ground over winter. So this was just basically an experiment. Same with the barley, that's uh, going to be a winter crop, it's just an experiment there, see how it grows and what happens. The black raspberries, look at those, we've actually got ones getting pretty dark over there. We've got red and right in the middle there there's one turning purple, so next up black, we're going to have some berries to eat soon, fantastic. Blueberries looking awesome. Chilies again. This is still the only one that's actually done any growing. But we got flowers. We got tiny little ones there. All right, we might have some more, some more chilies coming through. Again, I've thrown some uh, what you call it urea on them. You can see a little bit of it just there that hasn't finished dissolving. Uh, so they're supposed to like that. I'm going to put some more. Uh, Epsom salt to them because that's supposed to help them a lot as well. Look at all of this, the way that it's all been weeded out by Amy today. Fantastic job. Uh, the rhubarb's looking great. Katrina's, whatever they are, obviously are doing fantastic. And let's sneak over it here real fast. We've got little peppers growing there, which is good. I can't remember which are sweet and which are hot, but we'll figure that out. But what I want to show you is right here, we've got little asparagus berries. So we should be getting some more asparagus growing from seed next year. Ah, uh, what else to show you? So Katrina's straw bale gardens. They seem to have sorted themselves out. She's got stuff growing. She's actually got tomatoes on that one. Uh, I don't even know what she's planted here, so I couldn't really tell you. That looks like lettuce. Okay, the toadstools had died off. There's a new one come through, so I guess that's not the end of that story for her after all. Uh, but, yeah, no, she's she's got stuff coming through and she prefers this because she doesn't have to do so much weeding. So, 
there we go so a quick look back for you stand over here here it all is I've set it up with four sprinklers running now instead of three I don't know that I'm any better off but it was worth a play and that's the state of the garden have yourselves a great week